Hello, I'm Ant. I'm Hannah. And this is Art in the Corridor. If you're new here, I'm Hannah, I make watercolour illustration. My husband's Ant, and he makes liner cut art. And we have a 90 month old pup, Mabel. We live on a 50 foot narrowboat called The Corridor and have done for the last eight years. We started our journey on the Great River Ouse and after four years decided to make our way onto the canals. We've been making art for the last two years and we decided to vlog it all. So, if you think you'll be interested and you wanna come and see what we're getting up to and all that stuff, then don't forget to subscribe, push the notification bell, and enjoy. It's evening, I'm in my pyjamas. I'm tired, I'm ready for bed. But tomorrow, we've got a whole list of stuff that needs doing. We've had a right busy old week, and I've been a bit cronked. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I've not been feeling great, to be fair, have I, Anthony? No. So I'm a bit slow and a bit oh. like, yeah, running around like headless chicken. But lots of interesting, exciting things to do, so. We've made a list. We've actually made a list. Always make a list. That's the one thing my mum said. Just make a list. We've made a list. Bumpy. <laughs> oh, I've got the car, carrying a bloody bag full of water, a bike and some car tubes for postage. <laughs> number two on our list is to mount up some pictures. Um, last week Hannah was getting a, a mount for one of her pictures that, that sold and we found a really cool shop in Daventry and it's called, what was it called Hannah? First Light Photographic. First Light Photographic and we got chatting about art and that sort of thing and it sells some lovely stuff in the shop and she asked if I could bring some pictures in and they can sell them through the shop which is really cool and really nice of them. Um, so we're going to mount up some pictures for that. We've also got to find a scanner. And the reason we've got to find a scanner is because I want to get some reprints done of sold out work. And they're going to be sold at the Braunston Historic Rally. Um, the other reason is I got an email from a magazine in the States that wants some of my pictures in there. And yeah, so we need them all for that. So here we go. Onwards and upwards, eh? So this is the little selection of prints that um, will be in the shop. There's a couple of colour ones and a couple of the black and white ones. And 
Dawn, who runs the shop, has kindly said that she will be framing them and that sort of thing. Um, and I'm also going to put in the big print from last week. Um, the majority of these have now sold. I've kept a few aside for the Braunston Boat Rally. So if you do want this or either of these, you will find them in, um, oh, what was it called again? First Light Photographic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll find them in First Light Photographic in Daventry. Since we've been in this area, I think we've been the most sociable we've ever been, haven't we? Um, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's such like a hub of activity here. It's like a little boat world. It's really, really nice. And there's just loads of people. Everyone's really friendly. And you get to chat to everyone all the time. I think sometimes when you're traveling or particularly during the winter, it can be a little bit isolating. Um, but so it's been really nice just to kind of be in, in a spot where there's loads of stuff going on, lots of people to talk to. I feel really lucky to be here because it's just absolutely beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I'm very much looking forward to getting out traveling and um, can't wait for that, can we? No. Don't have any plans yet though, where are we going? No. We're just gonna potter around, I think. We ain't going anywhere at the minute because Mabel's having a standoff with a duckling. <laughs> yeah, she does that a lot. But we are gonna go and hand deliver one of Ant's prints to another boater down the way. So yeah, we better go and get that get that delivered, eh? Let's go. Cool. Your picture. <laughs> Have you started filming? Yeah. I don't know what you're up to. <laughs> Having the dog incident. There you go. Oh wow! <laughs> Oh god, like that's fantastic, it. isn't it? Oh, good. The Close. colours are so good. I'm very pleased with it, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's amazing. They do so much better than it. On... I know, they always yeah, do. Yeah, it's hard to like show it, isn't it, yeah, on yeah. camera? They always do, they look better in real life, but it's so difficult to get on camera. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it'd be nice just to show you these real quick. Um, these are the pictures that I'm going to have reprints made of. Now, it's a bit weird, the whole reprint thing, because I sell lino cut prints, originals, and I don't know if it's a bit of a a no-no to have them reprinted. I don't know. It's my work. <laughs> I'll list them as reprints. Um, and these are the ones that we're going to do. This one's going to a magazine in the States. This one's going to a magazine in the States. The rest will all be reprinted for the Braunston Rally. Yeah, so here we go. Counter, but I don't want to fall asleep behind the wheel. Oh my god, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> oh, they get better, didn't they? So I managed to get a haircut in Daventry, and here we are outside First Light Photographic, and we're going to bring the pictures in now for Dawn. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Dawn. Pictures as we discussed. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they're awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love that one. Got the perfect frame for that one. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing with that one and these two. The world of uh, Blue Peter. Here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, it looks absolutely lovely. Look at the colour of that frame with 
the uh, those grey inks and stuff. That's brilliant, and it's on the mount as well, isn't it? Yeah, you've got a double mount there, so the grey reflects both the picture and the, the frame itself. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And if anybody wants um, these prints, you'll find them in Daventry Framing, Framing Centre. Incorporating. In cool. That's like photographic. <laughs> brilliant. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Shall we? I might have to do it. I don't really know how to do it. Because I've got to get it. Get and it's thick. Are you going to be able to get through that? Yeah, of course I am. It cuts through wood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> right, I need some more lines on that. Oh, back he goes. Really handy, actually. We picked these up from. Was it the Cratch Cover business? Yes. So they've allowed him to have these. I think, I guess they get material rolled up. Yeah, they're wrapped on it. Yeah, wrapped on it. But really good for packing. Anthony in his natural habitat. Look at that pencil behind your ear. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's really long. <laughs> You don't look like you've been working for very long. What you usually, well, usually the pencil's like really small, isn't it? Because, you know, they've been working for a long time yeah. and that pencil's gone down. It's a giveaway, that is. Yeah. Oh, it's falling off. Giveaway of a... It's like when you go to a building site and the decorator starts in new clean overalls. You think, mm. <laughs> I know. Are you all finished? All done. Oh, look at best, that! Some of the best gorilla recycling we've ever done. Look at your little face. I know I'm over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty handy. It's the little things, eh? It's the little things that make you happy. Tubes. <laughs> Ready? I hope so. So this is going to go on here just to help it slide out of the tube without any complications. And this is the uh, <laughs> instructions to flatten it back out. Can people read your writing, Anthony? Of course they can. Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Fiddly little business, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, go gentle. Okay. Brilliant. How many more to do? Nine. Nine of them. Let's go. <laughs> How are you getting on with your addresses? I <laughs> am done. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> this week's post. Well, I say this week's post. I think we've got more. Time for a walk, I think. Mabel's whinging. Oh. It's a bit cold today. 
way. I might actually have to put a fire on, but we've got no kindling and I could do with finding some sticks. But it's all just grass around here, so I might have to go for a little forage later somewhere. Because it is chilly. So last on the list was get a sketch done. I wanted to get something designed for next week's video. So we've come up with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how we get on with this. It should be another big print. And if you want to see me make this into a big lino print, come and see us next week. We don't usually have a towel hanging from the side hatch. It's just it was very hot and Mabel kept barking at people walking past. And I don't usually have hair like a teddy boy. We've gone a bit mad. <laughs>